Hey there folks, Rel here. We are uh, back playing Metal Gear Rising. So you guys are going to be like really, really upset with me because <laughs> this is maybe uh, this is maybe episode six, but I I have not been uh, so like all throughout this. I did like like five episodes, four episodes, something like that in like the same day or like two days and because I really, really like the game, but I did not know that there was this, that there was this menu here. Oh, Z? The press Z? Um, so basically, long story short, like, because you know I skipped the tutorial. A lot of people gave me a flag for that. Absolutely fine. I don't like playing tutorials. I really, really do not. Uh, it makes the game so boring to me. Uh, and usually they're done very poorly. E even in um, even Metal Gear Rising, they're still teaching you things as you played through. So to me, that's like, what is the point of the tutorial? Um, but yeah, so now I know uh, a little bit of stuff. I know how to parry. Uh, defensive offense. Okay, so I'm gonna, gonna keep that in mind. And anytime I, woo -hoo -hoo -hoo, anytime I look back, I'll, uh, I'll just, uh, yeah, yeah, we'll just go through it. But I haven't played this in actually in a while now, so uh, gotta get my controls back. It should be pretty easy though. Oh, I should probably... I guess I could have snuck. Sneaked there. Love it. Hate. Hate these guys. Get off. Get off. I don't know why he says that. <laughs> if I'm being completely honest. Dog has a far greater intellect. Why is he... Oh. Oops. That's a little waste. A little wasteful. Alright, doggy thing. Yeah, I should have waited. No. He's gonna bounce multiple times, yes. It's fine, I got no problems with that. Oh, I love this weapon so much! Uh, okay, I should probably do that. No! Uh, <laughs> I'm sliding too far. Okay. Easy enough. I love it. I love it. I'm gonna check the uh let's check these combos real quick. Mid air slice, that's kind of obvious. Uh down up thunder strike. Ooh, down up. So is that back or back and toward? I'm I'm gonna guess that instead of uh down and up. Pole arm, let's uh how do I do the, the cool fun stuff with the pole arm? Heavy light, malice, uh heavy light, heavy. I won't I won't remember any of this. Like, uh, fighting games, let's give some people a call. Fighting games, I, it's, it's more muscle memory than anything else, and right now I don't really have it, so. So let me get this straight. All law enforcement in Denver's been subcontracted. Pretty much. It's part of Colorado's, Detroit was kind of the pioneer there. Armstrong spearheaded the idea, of course, back when he was still in the state senate. <laughs> no surprise, but the police force isn't all cyborg. Nah, no way anyone could get funding for that. Most of them are unmodified. New recruits or veterans from the old Denver PD. They handle most of the basic police work. Most cyborgs are part of the SWAT unit. They're sent out to handle riots, violent crimes, stuff like that. Makes sense. They're given separate roles in the force, too. Some of the combat specialists are ex-US Army. But a lot of them are from overseas, too. A lot of them undergo the cyborg operation just to get a green card. <laughs> that kind of thing must go over gr You know it. A lot of folks wanted a blanket ban on hiring immigrants. They get a bad rep for those helmets, too. The way the police see it? They need more cyborgs on the force to deal with that. <laughs> Hope they have enough cyborgs to deal with me. Yes. Might as well, right? Raiden, um, once you get those brains back, 
What are we gonna do with them? I still gotta discuss that with Doc. He's still got the brains from Mexico, but the human rights group wouldn't take them in. Yeah, but I can understand the NGO's position, but these kids... I know. We don't have nearly enough size, and if we want to give them child-sized bodies, they'd have to be almost entirely custom-made. For now, Doc's sending virtual environment data to their brains, just like their VR training. Yeah, but that only works up to a... Doc said he can't simulate realistic human interaction with the tech we have right now. They must be lonely. They must be lonely. They no lonely. None of them had families. For some of them, the real... You... You know what my childhood was like. I'd take life in an empty room by myself over that any day. Raiden. It's a work in progress for sure. But Doc will work something out. Alright, that's that's really, really interesting because the whole premise, I mean, in case you didn't watch past episodes or whatever, is that we are going to get back these children's brains. So, under that mentality, it doesn't your body doesn't matter. And that makes sense because everything's cyborg, you know, you replace parts, you get new ones, and uh so your brain is what makes you you so as long as the brains are still around people are still technically living that's a very very interesting concept because it disregards the concept of having a soul boris you got anything for me hmm? what do i mean intel and well yes but in this case we had no official prep time we have the map of denver but no briefing notes i wish i could be of more help that's all right but what about your robot dog friend he's taking on scouting duty for you yes why not try contacting him your earlier actions were reckless, Raiden. Not to mention the damage to a perfectly good car. I knew the risks when I decided to go through with this. Besides, the car was mine. It's not meant for private use. It was made for ops like this. Regardless, your approach has proven mo You are now a criminal. A pub Even if your actions reveal World Marshal's designs... Probably not. But that's a price I'll have to pay. I sealed my fate the second I attacked George. But George is not dead. In fact, he has obtained an even more versatile body than his previous one. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about me. I was a child soldier in Liberia. Like Miss Trawl said, I was a mentally deranged child. People feared me, called me Jack the Ripper. A result of the so-called Sears program. I thought I'd left it all in the past, but just like that, this is why you are so driven to terminate the I, I understand. Copy that. Very, very cool. So, uh, yeah, again, they, they play up the mentality of, uh, your brain is you. Yeah, that's super important. Let's see if we got anything around here. Woo, what is this? Oh, is this another thing? Hold on. That's my boy. <laughs> I love, uh, I love games. <laughs> I don't know, Hideo Kojima stuff is just so, so funny. There's like, there's little tidbits everywhere. Isn't this all a bit much? Any decent lunatic would have quit after Mexico. Jetstream Sam. I heard you drop the land printer in half. Old habits die hard, eh, Jack? But now, here you are. The child soldier, fighting for the children. <laughs> Please, what do you really expect to accomplish here? Ah, but you're a man on a mission, aren't you? Gonna fix everything. Just you and your little sword there. Solve everything with violence. Is that it? My sword is a means to an end, to protect those you'd prey on. Really? Let me ask you, all those cyborgs you've killed up to now, maybe they weren't kids, but they were people. You ever think about them? When you're chopping them into hamburger? <laughs> they're adults. They made their choice. Sure they're adults. Sure they signed up for this. Right on the dotted line of their PMC contract. Usually, they're no strangers to war. In fact, many times they already lost a limb or two. Many times they were out of work and starving on the street. So yes, they sign up for surgery to fight God knows where. How else would you provide for your family when your country's embroiled in civil war? Pain receptors shut down, 
pumped full of fear inhibiting nanomachines and sent right into the blender? Your blender? But they made their choice, right? Open your eye and see, Raiden. I've seen plenty. Then listen. Those battlefield emotions that the nanos press. Listen to them. What are you talking about? Shh. So, kind of sucks. Come on. <laughs> uh, whatever. The point being, though, man, was there any way that I could avoid that? I really didn't want to kill all of them. That make you feel wicked guilty. <laughs> Raiden, are you injured? Mentally. I thought they had a choice. A fair choice. Not like you. People are different. As opposed to AIs. You're all the same, huh? You and your brothers. Manipulating mankind for our own good. It appears my statement has upset you. I apologize. Uh, no, it's... I know you're right. As for AIs, we adapt as we learn. Just as any intellect operates, man or machine, altering the course of mankind, is not among my defined directives. I guess that's a relief. Samuel's behavior does not match established parameters. You know him? Affirmative. We served together on three previous missions. He proved most capable. You think highly of him? I have always found him... dependable. Until now. Scouting data for the next area. I'll patrol ahead. You follow. Raiden, your current emotional state appears highly volatile. I am sure you do not intend to abort the mission. But I suggest you avoid combat for the time being. Uh, how do I use this? C? X? I forget. How do I use my box? Dang it. 
No, not help. All right, so <laughs> that's um, that's that's a whole lot to take in. They are uh, use sub weapon C. Yeah, right. Use item Q. Is is this Q or C? Q. No. C. No. Okay. So I'm. I take it it's just not letting me do anything. So I want to give somebody a call real quick. I want to give Big Breast a call. Martin, are you okay? Hampshire plays dirty. No. The cyborgs who signed on with Desperado and World Marshal, no one put a gun to their heads. But they were screwed to begin with. Still... I knew all that. But hearing those voices, I guess I was just kidding myself. The Still, there's nothing you could have done for them. But those... I'll get them back. Right, and I just wish I could do more... It's all right, Cor. Sometimes just having someone to talk to is good enough. I'm happy to help. I should probably save your data. All right. Safe, I'll talk to you later. Yeah. So the point that they're trying to bring up, I mean, even though this is like the future and you have... Oops. And you have uh, cyborg brains and, and whatever, it's... You have to you have to think about the people, right? People are people. And when you... When people go off to war, it's not... I mean, they do it for a number of reasons, and that always has to be kept in mind. I, uh, I know that's kind of um. This guy's patrolling back. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm just trying to walk it. Whatever, I don't care. Hopefully, I'll okay. Looks the other direction. Give me that paste. Uh, paste. Oh yeah. So we're gonna try to avoid these guys. We can probably do that. Um, well, yeah. So war is a war, and everybody. Oh, hopefully a helicopter doesn't see me. And everybody signs on knowing the same things, which is that you can die at any time, and people, everybody fights everybody else, and whatever, whatever. But at that point, you really know better than a machine. Right? You're no better than... Oh, there it is. Alright, let's do it. Come on, I'm a little emo right now, please. You gotta... Okay, I'm having a hard time actually. Parrying, which is what I'm trying to do. Or maybe I can't even do that right now, I don't know. No, don't shoot the bullets in my head! No! You stop it! I think it's really, uh, interesting. Ooh. I- not interesting, just really, really cool how they made, um made your your walking speed basically it made, made everything matter like you're you're weak you're frail you're uh maybe dizzy and about to puke I, I don't know i don't really know why raiden is like this except for just the fact that he's a little bit emo but uh because he didn't actually take substantial damage like from a damage perspective no not so much at least I don't think he did. Could I have gone around these guys? Maybe. Ooh, that guy's patrolling. Okay, cool. Take a right. Take a right! Okay. You just... You just keep going that way, buddy. I'm just gonna... Just got, I'm got an appointment at this building. So I'm just going to go that way. Oh, and there's more! I actually know who the boss is here and and more or less how to kill him, but... Uh, uh, I, I've seen this scene before. I saw a Let's Play of it. Oh, 
what I wanted to hear. And when the war was over, they just threw me away. Now it be Come on, drive me closer so I can hit him with my sword. Or is that just what you tell yourself? Fuck you. How pleased you are to chop away, Jack the Ripper. My name is Monsoon of the Winds of Destruction. Yeah. I guessed as much. on the insides of your enemies? How easily you ignore the loss of life when it suits your convenience. So tell me, who saves the weak from the man who saves the weak? You're the ones exploiting them. You take advantage of their weakness. Of course they get hurt when you set them up as your human shield. Kill or be killed, Jack. Phnom Penh taught me that. Phnom Penh, by the way, is a place. Yes, you aren't the only one to grow up. Uh, I want to say Thailand. A cruel parent, but an effective teacher. Its final lesson is carved deep in my psyche. That this world and all its people are diseased. Free will is a myth. Religion is a joke. Controlled by something greater. Memes. The DNA of the soul. They shape our will. They are the culture. They are everything we pass on. Expose someone to anger long enough, they will learn to hate. They become a carrier. Envy, greed, despair. All memes. All passed along. How about full of shit? Is that a meme? You can't fight nature, Jack. Wind blows, rain falls, and the strong prey upon the weak. Ugh. Sam tells me you see your weapon as a tool. Something that saves lives, a means of justice. Now there's a pretty meme. Exquisite. It spared you the burden of all the lives you've taken. Absolved you of guilt when you enjoyed it. That is, until the illusion was broken. Don't be ashamed. It's only nature running its course. You have no choices to make. Nothing to answer for. You can die with a clear conscience. You're right. About me, I mean. I knew something was off. After the Patriots, I thought I could walk off the battlefield and into a normal life. But here I am, surrounded by death, arguing philosophy with terrorists. I told myself this was about justice, about protecting the weak. But I was wrong. <laughs> then you admit it. I learned young that killing your enemies felt good. Really good. In America, my friends, my family, they helped me forget the devil inside. 
But who am I kidding? I was born to kill! <sighs> the bit about my sword... That means of justice stuff? I guess I needed something to keep the Ripper in check when I was knee-deep in bodies. Y you But you... All this... Is a wake-up call to what I really believe. What I really am. What are you saying? I'm saying Jack is back. Doctor, turn off my pain inhibitors. What? This, this is madness. You do it. All right. Pain. This is why I fight. <laughs> this is my normal. My nature. You've lost your mind. <laughs> Who's next? I'll take this dance. No, sir. Report back to the chief. He's mine. <laughs> You're the boss. I misjudged you. You are like us after all. Now you're just being nasty. <laughs> that nickname you love so much. Want to know how I got it? Actually, why don't I give you a demonstration? I think it's time for Jack to let her rip. All right. All right. Come on. So lucky I learned how to parry, huh? <laughs> oh, come on. Come on, come on, come on. I don't know where he's coming from. Oh, God! Alright, what else do you got? This one's on me. Give me it!
Okay. Um, nope, not what I want. Hold on. I need... No, I don't, definitely don't need that. Uh, let's do... AMP grenades. I want to say yes. Ah, <laughs> uh. oh, not quick enough. <laughs> no, <laughs> that's not quite right. Welcome to my utopia of death. Come on. Oh, that's got a nice hook over there. There it is. I love that you can, uh, you can parry mid, uh, Mid pretty much everything. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I said grenade! <laughs> now I have one left. That's fun, isn't it? Nope! Ah, come on. Where are you even, like, throwing this thing at me? Ah, uh, uh, uh. How annoying. <laughs> Oh, uh, terrible, terrible EM grenade. Ah. Uh, yeah, I don't have another EM grenade, so it's kind of... Makes this a little bit difficult. Oh, uh, no! Yeah, so I basically can't do anything to him right now, except parry attacks until he gives me some more EM grenades. Uh, as I understand it, at least. Or maybe not. Come on. There it is. Oh, I wonder if I can go hit his head again once he, uh, when he disjoints himself. Ooh. All right, give me those EM grenades. Go. So this is Jack's terrifying true form. Magnetic power. Ah, 
Paste, paste, and grenade. All right. Oh, come on. I don't know if I like having it in uh, target mode. Makes it a little bit more difficult for me to... A little bit more difficult to parry things, in my opinion. I didn't even know that I was supposed to be using infrared. Or maybe I'm not. Maybe you're just saying that, that I cannot use it now with the uh, in this mode. Oh, come on. Oh, I am just... Messing up these parries left and right. Come on. All right, let's do it again. Where did you even find all of these explosive barrels? <laughs> Oops, should not have maybe gotten that close. It's fine. All right, there's our checkpoint. Now what will you do? Check, Ripper. Hold control. Oh, okay. Got it, got it, got it. You're dead. Bullseye. Bullseye. Huh. Well, I guess that's something, huh? <laughs> Kill. Or be killed. Don't be ashamed. It's only nature running its course. Your means end here. I'm fine, Kevin. Relax. I'll get the brains. I don't want this for anyone else. All right, man. Later. Not bad, huh? Yeah, I don't really. I really, really don't care about the Psy, to be honest. 
I'm always interested in longer ranged weapons. I mean, I'll probably try it out. But, uh, yeah, let's do some customization here. Let's see what we got. Uh, unique weapon. <clears throat> no, I don't want that. Just reading the uh, the description here. That's uh, huh? It's interesting. This I didn't know that Lorenz Force is like a thing. The strength plus three. I got that. Oh no, that's new. Uh, I, I yeah. We'll see. We'll see what we got. I'm really interested in life is nice. Hard to go wrong though. I'm gonna turn it down for a second though. Uh, fuel cells. It's another upgrade. Skill. We. Uh, we could get some some skills going for the uh, the pole arm, or we can. Still not enough. That's a shame. What do we got for enhancements? Absorption, absorption, energy, body. I'm thinking that. Uh... <laughs> Very much. <laughs> this tickles me to death. All right. Uh, I'm thinking that I actually want um. It's got a built-in rocket launcher. Actually, I want. I do not know. That'd be kind of interesting, right? The uh, original body. Uh. I'm gonna say I actually really, really want this white armor, just because of the uh, regeneration and and healing. But I don't know what it's... I don't know if it takes things away from me, though, is the thing. So, you know what, let's just, uh, let's go with something more fun. Let's go with, like... This is just a bunch of grenades. I like the, the color red. Let's go with the color red. <laughs> because it's red. So... Or we can do the... No, we're not going to. Alright, red. Why not red? Let's equip it. No upgrades, that's fine. I mean, it didn't cost that much, so I'm not, like, heartbroken about it. Let's do some upgrades. Uh, energy. Um, lowers fuel consumption of blade mode, I can dig it. Uh, let's go with strength. Absorption. And let's go with energy again. Absorption, three. Uh, you know, it. don't we get all of our... At this point, we actually get all of our energy back from just one kill, so I'm not overly concerned about, uh... It's not overly concerned about in general. Let's go with Fuel Salt 3. Let's unlock that. Let's go back to life. Bum uh, no, not enough. Not enough! That is fine, though. Let's go... I don't know. Can extend the weapon forward in a special attack. That sounds like fun. Let's do that. I actually like jumping attacks, and if that makes it... Right now, it's very, very difficult to do a jumping attack because it's up, which you don't jump very high, and then it's straight down. So, um... So, yeah, let's, let's stop it here. Let's go to... Now we're in red. Let's see where that takes us. So there we are, open invitation to go nuts, <laughs> or at least go to the server room and try to pick up the brains. That doesn't sound like a trap, but that's where we're going to end the episode. Thanks guys for hanging out, we just uh, went and killed Monsoon, and we will be getting these brains next time. What I want to ask, because it is kind of interesting and they definitely set you up for this, is where is, is our body just a body? Is our brain us? I mean, if where does the, the soul come into play? Do you believe in the soul at all? And it, that's important to me, because this is not completely unfeasible. I mean, we won't be running around with swords, maybe, but in the future, we can already clone. We can already, which is like 
you know, people are obviously take issue with that, you know, being able to clone. Uh, and yeah, and technology, you know, even if cyborg parts are like just inconvenient, wouldn't make sense to implement. Uh, we still see prosthetics. We still see replaceable hearts. Is your body you? Is your body what makes you? Or is it just the chemicals in your brain? Something to think about. Thanks very much, folks. We're all signing off.